Hey everybody, this is Ben with BRG Music, and this is Niklaus. Hi. It's my son. Um, Niklaus and I are going to talk about some chords today. We're going to talk about altering our chords in a major scale, changing the scale and changing the chord patterns. It sounds different than, than just playing a normal guitar. Yes, it does. Okay, these are arpeggios. Remember what I said arpeggios were? Um, they're, they're, they're something that repeats. Chords. They chords repeat. and yeah. the notes repeat yeah. right okay so let's go through the the chords in, in c major real quick and then we'll alter a note so c major has a group of four note chords and it's the patterns like this it starts with c major seven that's c e g b and repeat okay oh so next one is d minor seven that's d f a and c Next one's E minor 7, same shape, but it's E, G, B, and D. Next one's F major 7, looks just like C major 7, but it's up here at the 8th fret. Seems worth dancing to. Yes. Next one's G7, which is a little different. It's a major chord with a, with a flat 7. What's a flat 7? A flat 7? It's like this, so if I have a regular seven, it's like one fret. The flat seven is one fret lower. This is a major seven, this is a flat seven, right? You see that? Okay, anyway, next is A minor seven, same as the D and E minor sevens. Then I have B half diminished, which is a crazy chord. This one's cool, listen to this. And then finishing up, we're back at C. Like that. Okay, so what if we change one note? If we change one note in a scale. So that's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. But what the, this time the G will be higher. Try and catch that. So we're going to make it what? A G sharp, right? Like that. Did you catch it? Great job. Okay, so now we're going to play those chords again, but because we have a G sharp, it's going to change things, right? So our C major 7 now becomes a C augmented chord with a major 7 in it. And it sounds really weird. It sounds like this. So I play 3 to 7 on the A string, 6 on the D, 4 to 5 on the G, 5 on the B, 4 to 7 on the E. Like sci fi chords, right? You probably catch that. Yeah, probably hear the difference, right? Now, the next one is D minor 7. It's the same as it was in the original scale. Because there's no G in it, that doesn't affect it. It's the same shape. Yeah. But the chord that falls that, the E chord, has a G in it. It was E minor 7, E, G, B, and D. Now it's E, G sharp, B, and D. So the E is a, it's a major with a flat 7, which is called a dominant. Dominant. Seven. Yep. Sounds like dominoes. Uh -oh. So that's going to be 7 to 11, 9, 7 to 9, 9, and then 7, 9. What? 7 to 10. Sorry. Very cool, huh? Next one is F major 7. It doesn't change because it's just F, A, C, and E. There's no G in it. Now we go to the G chord. It's a G sharp, and it gets weird because now it's a, a full-on, not a half-diminished chord, but full-diminished. This is the really weird-sounding chord. So that's... 11 to 14, 12, 10 to 13, 12, 10 to 13. It makes perfect sense when you put it in context. Next one, A minor 7 again, except the G is sharp. So this is going to be A minor with a major 7. This is cool. It's 
12 to 15, 14, 13, 14, 13, 12, 16. Now we're back at B, so it's B half diminished again, just like we did before. And then we're back to where we started at a C chord. Did you learn anything? A lot. Okay. I hope you guys did too. That's a little bit about what I'm working on right now, just some different chord forms. And this is all based on a scale called the harmonic minor scale. It's a C, basically a C major or A minor scale with a G sharp in it. See you, it? Ne see you next video. Right. Thanks for watching.